Good day, Immortals. My name is Mika, and today I'm going to be showing off Sprout's new hat that I actually made myself. So if you didn't know, I play Sprout, the seed fairy of the Ohio Renaissance Festival. I have officially been cast again this year. And this is Sprout's old hat. This is the hat that I wore last year. And it's the same hat I have been wearing for the past few years now, even back before I got cast as Sprout. But this past year, I realized that I wasn't in love with this hat specifically for Sprout. I do love this hat, but there was just something off about it. Um, I didn't like the big fat flower on the front. I just felt like Sprout isn't really a flowery kind of fairy. She's more of a leafy, seedy kind of fairy. And also last year I was overheating a lot. And the main problem was this hat because it is so thick. I mean, that is a thick boy right there. And so I was just getting so hot inside this hat. So. I wanted to try to make a new hat. If you saw my video talking about my other new felted hats that I got, I did mention that I was gonna to try to make Sprout's new hat, and I did, and it came out way better than I could have ever expected it to come out. I was not expecting it to look this good at all. Um, so there's a couple things I need to work on still with this hat, like making sure that this part stays kind of creased over like that. And then making sure that this little curly Q sprout doesn't flop all over the place. Cause look at that, it kind of does. Um, I think I just need to stitch it up inside there. Um, I'll talk about that in just a second. But I did not actually record myself making this hat because I didn't expect it to come out this good. And it was a lot of a trial and error process, but I can explain to you guys how I made it and I will do the best that I can with that. And then once I'm done explaining how I made the hat, I will go into just a little bit of detail of Sprout and the changes that are gonna be happening this year. Um, I don't wanna get too much into, into detail in this video, uh, but I will give you a little bit of a sneak peek of what's to come. So to start off, um, I did buy this wool felt on Etsy, I forget what the store name is, but it's basically just the same kind of felt that you can buy at Joann's. Um, the only difference is I noticed that the felt at Joann's, um, they didn't have a reddish color that had a bunch of different colors within it. Um, they only had red that was like a very flat, opaque red. So I just went on Etsy and looked for some reds that had some different like colorings in it. And I don't know if you can see this on camera, but it's got a lot of like black wool inside of it. So it's got some like black splotches and it doesn't look too flat of a red. It has a, a good mix of color in it. So all I did was I cut out two pieces of a basic hood shape and I made it kind of curl at the end. Um, not this much of a curl, but it was just a little bit of a point back here. And then I just hand stitched the pieces together all the way down on the side there, just like that. And then once I stitched together, I flipped it inside out so that the seam looked a little bit better. And then I got some just generic green felt from the craft store. Um, this green felt was actually pretty flat looking, but it was a great color. Um, I thought it matched my cowl pretty well. So I went ahead and got this felt and then I got some raw wool felt or just raw wool, I should say. And um, it wasn't exactly the same color as this. It was actually more of this like lighter green color, but I went along with it. I had some plans. Um, so the first thing that I did was I actually grabbed a wire and I got the wool felt, the green, the light green wool felt, and I wrapped the felt around the wire and I actually needle felted it all together. And that part was actually pretty easy because when you buy raw wool felt from the store, like in the needle felting section, it kind of comes in strips and it's kind of already somewhat needle felted together. Um, it's kind of sticks together. So when I wrapped it around the wire and stitched it, it was very easy to just interlock the fibers together. So I did that for this whole part of the wire. And then on the end, what I did was I grabbed some raw yellow felt uh, or wool. I just put a very thin layer of yellow felt on top of that green felt and I stitched it on and so I kind of gave it this gradient effect going that way and then the wire I actually like 
cut a hole in the top of the hat and I put the wire inside the hat and kind of bend it to shape my head so it just kind of stays in there um but since it's just kind of sitting in there and i i actually attached it by um needle felting the raw wool to my hat like this part of my hat so it is connected but it's only connected through needle felt so that's why it just kind of goes back and forth like this and i wouldn't normally mind it but sometimes like we dressed up for rehearsals last weekend and there were pictures shot of me and there were pictures where my little curly cue was like that. It was like all the way to the side where it was like that. So I, I think what I need to do is just kind of go in there inside the hat and just kind of stitch around the wire um, underneath this leaf here just to make sure that it kind of stays in place at least a little bit. Um, it can bounce a little bit but not too much. Then um, I cut out the leaves. I just cut out a basic leaf shape. Um, this one over here, I actually cut out a little kind of chunk where a little bug or something bit out of it. I stitched the leaves onto my hat right here, but before I did that, I actually painted them. And I actually used leather paint for this instead of fabric paint. Um, fabric paint probably would have been better, but I already had leather paint, so I just went with leather paint and it worked just fine. So the first thing I actually did was stitch it. Um, I stitched it right here and I did that by folding the leaves like this and then stitching it inside like that. Although it doesn't seem to make much of a difference now that I've painted it, but I did do that. And then after that, I did paint these little markings right here just to give the leaf some life because it was so flat looking. Um, I wanted to give it some dimension. And then after that, I did stitch it on and then I actually painted this part going up towards the curly cue so that it had a natural gradient color effect because before it was just that light green and then it just cut off and went into the um, more like saturated green. So I used that same saturated green color with the leather paint and I painted it going upward in a nice gradient effect. And I also painted these like little dark green lines going up here just to make it kind of blend in a little bit better like it's an extension of the leaves and then from there i wasn't really sure what i wanted to do um, i originally wanted to do this kind of like leafy vine situation going on on the trim here i wanted to do a similar situation to this hat i really liked the way this looked but at some point i just kind of tried folding this piece over like this and then I thought that looks pretty good just like that. So I'm just going to do it this way. So what I did was I folded it over and I actually ironed this so it can kind of stay in place a little bit. I need might need to iron it again at some point. But then I actually got some orange leather paint and I painted this part right here just so that it would be a bit brighter than the rest of the hat so it can kind of stand out a bit. I actually did kind of the same effect as I did with this hat because this hat is a nice like darker red color and then on this bottom part it's kind of an orangey color so it has this like two different color effect if that makes sense. So that is what my inspiration for this part was and then when I was done painting it I went ahead and cut out all these little holes right here so it ni looks nice and tattered and then on this part I might have to take my hat off to show you guys this. On this back part right here, um, I actually cut out these little like scraggly, raggedy bits on the bottom of the hat there. And then I used a black leather paint and I just kind of did this like dirty up effect. And then I also cut out ear holes, of course, because I really wanted to have my elf ears while I wore this hat. And then for this part, I wanted this to look like Sprout made it herself. So she just kind of did these like big stitches in the middle of this hat here. So I just poked some holes like that and I just thread a leather lacing through there just to give it a nice like homemade or self-made uh, whatever style of aesthetics. I don't know what words to say. And yeah, that's basically it, I think. All right, just a quick little update. 
So I actually painted another layer of orange on this trim here just to make it look more orange because before it was looking more like a light red. And so I just wanted to make it pop out a little bit more. And to keep this part from kind of flying away here, I actually sewed it down in a couple places. So I sewed it down like right here, right here, right here, and right here so that it doesn't fly away and look like a total mess, so. So anyway, back to the video. Um, but these ears are actually not the ears I'm going to be wearing. Um, I just wore them right now because it looks normal with my face right now, but, but the Fae are actually getting a huge upgrade this year and we have to have a full face of makeup and our skin has to look like it's a different color. So these are actually the ears I'm gonna be wearing and these are my old Cosplay FX ears. Um, I went ahead and went with my Cosplay F FX ears because I never really wear these anymore and I was worried about staining these ears because these are my favorite Madhouse ears. So I didn't want to potentially ruin them with makeup or I didn't want to have to sit there and wash these ears and then put on my regular makeup for my videos. I just wanted to have two separate ears. So, so these ears will look something like this. All right, so here is what my ears look like on, and I'm gonna go ahead and show a picture of what I look like with a full face of makeup, and this is basically what Sprout is going to look like at the Renaissance Festival. Of course, there are some things that could be subject to change, but this look has already been approved, so that's probably what I'm going to end up doing for the official canon days. And so, yeah, the Fae this year are going to look very otherworldly. They're going to look very different this year, and we cannot have normal skin. Um, there's only one Faye, I think, who has exception to that, um, but everyone else has to have, like, non-human skin, so I'm gonna go with mostly yellow with some orange and some green, and all of our requirements are very strict this year. We have to have Obviously the makeup, we have to have very uh, professional looking garb. Uh, my garb has already been approved. Um, I did change some things from last time that I showed you. So um, I will update you guys on that later at some point, but it looks more or less the same. Um, it just looks a lot better and a lot more leafy now. And we also need to be really good movers, which obviously if you know me, I won't have a problem with that. I used to dance, I went to college for dance. I'm pretty confident in my movement ability, but yeah, that is one of the new requirements. I mean, we had to focus on movement before, but I think it's going to be a little bit more um, professional this year. And yeah, I am super excited for the Faye upgrade this year. And you're definitely not gonna wanna miss this because we are going to look so much better than we have in the past. We're going to look so professional and so alien or like otherworldly. We're gonna look like real fae, not just humans with wings or whatever. And I'm super excited for it. Stay tuned for more fae related updates in the future. All right, so that's everything I have for this video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned something from it. Let me know what you think of this cute little fairy hat in the comments below. And thank you guys so much for watching and I really hope to see you in the next video.